All right, up for auction we have this sweet little 1973 uh, Plymouth Valiant Scamp. Uh, basically exact same as the Dodge Dart, it's just the Plymouth version. It's an all original car except for it has uh, had an older repaint, a single stage paint, done a long time ago and it's factory color. Um, <clears throat> the vinyl top looks like the material's probably been replaced at one point. The material itself's really nice, but um, you'll see little imperfections, like this isn't rust, it's just little air pockets in the vinyl itself and some, you know, um, the corners and stuff like that are popping up a little bit. But it's down tight and it's not flapping up or nothing. Um, but it probably was done the same time as the paint job. Other than that, it's just an all original Survivor. Um, you know, original drivetrain, original interior. So we went on this. Is, these are just killer cars to buy. I mean, these, the price range that these things come into, it is so hard to find a car from the 60s or 70s, a two-door, um, in this price range that these things bring. I mean, they're a great car just to cruise around. Uh, they're cheap to throw a nice little 318 V8 in, a 360. Um, this one's got the original hubcaps. I do have the emblem. It's back at the shop. There'll be a picture of that in the ad. So the uh, grill's in really, really nice shape. No, you know, chips out of the, the honeycomb. All the lenses are really nice. The, uh, you know, beauty ring's got a little ding. Um, you know, all the chrome looks good. It's got good deep reflection. Um, it looks like I had the bumperettes in the front that matched the rear because the chrome is a little bit better here and you're obviously missing the, the bolts, but we no longer have those. They did not come with the car. Um, so the chrome all looks good on the mirrors, the bumper, but there is some aging in it. You know, you'll see on the rear bumper there's some aging and in the door handles, um, you'll see a little aging. So overall, you got to kind of expect um, or, you know, original survivor of you know, almost 50 years old. Um, you know, some of the trim's got a little ding in it. Um, but the paint job overall is nice and shiny. Has pretty much probably close to factory um, kind of sheen to it. Maybe a little bit more shiny than the original paint. But you know, it wasn't a $10,000 paint job, so you will see, you know, little imperfections in the paint. Um, there's a couple pieces, uh, you know, it was done a long time ago, but there's, you know, like something like this, there was a tiny scrape overlooked. Um, you'll see some little stone chips that were painted over and weren't sanded all the way down. Little stuff like that. You have a tiny little bubble down here. Nothing to be worried about. Floorboards in the trunk. Everything is really solid on this thing. But little imperfections down here, like you'll see a little ding that was overlooked. You know, they didn't uh, take off all the trim, so you have a little bit of tape line there but um, you can see you got a little bit of bubbling right here but it's nice dull and mellow nothing's getting crazy it's a great looking little driver you know it's got the aging in the chrome the back of the rear bumper's got the most aging you know with this kind of a foggy look to it nice panel gaps rear trunk opens up nice and quick You can see it's really nice and clean underneath the trunk. It'll take a little bit of time for the camera to kind of focus. Paint's nice, no rust in there. And it seems like it's been staying pretty dry in here. It's still got the original jack. It's still got a little bit of shine to it. Pans look good, just a little bit of surface rust, you know, from some condensation. It's got the original, you know, the map's coming apart. Um, it's got the original spare, the rest of the jack. But these are really cheap to replace if you want to do it, or you could just pull it out and spray it with some trunk paint. Shuts nice and solid. All the tires got good tread, pretty much. Uh, there is a slight crease on this side. Um, looks like maybe they rubbed up against something on the trim here. That was maybe red, because you can see that it's black, and then you got a little bit of paint transfer. And it didn't gouge into the paint or do a big scrape down like that. It's just got a slight, you can see it right there, a little crease like that. And you'll see the pictures. This is a California car. Uh, it's been in Washington for quite a few years, but it's got all the California emissions decal on the window and in the uh, under the hood. The felts look really good. You know, a little aging the door handle. But uh, this is what I was saying. There's a little bit. It you know, looks like they got a little bit of like dust or something in the paint. You know, the little trims. You know, a little scuffed up from entering. So just expect stuff like that. You know, the paint job I would guess is at least 10 years old or older. Um, but it looks really nice. No paint lifting issues. Got your original VIN plate in there, and there's also a picture of that. Um, let's see if it will focus in. There you go. So I'll go ahead and take you in on the inside. Start off on the driver's side. And again, it's all original in here. It's you know, it's really nice condition. The driver's side has a little bit more wear. 
The seats are in great shape for being their age. They fold nice and forward, nice and quick. The rear seat, I'll go nice and slow so the camera has time to kind of focus. You know, factory carpet has uh, a little bit of aging, but still looks really good in the rear area. The uh, rear package tray is a perfect. The, the uh, headliner's perfect. With the, I guess it does have a couple little scuffs right there. The mirror was the rear mirror was replaced with this race car style one. Uh, it's a quick, easy fix if you don't like it. But man, it does have a lot of vision. Um, and the door jams. You know, when they did the repaint, you can see. You know, they didn't do the jams or nothing like that. But you know, on a car of this level, it's just drive it and just enjoy it. You know, factory decals on both sides. You know, service decals, really cool VIN number. We got some wear on the door panel here. The driver's side, like I was saying, has more wear. Um, but from here up, the door panel's in excellent condition. Minimal wear on the pole handle. Windows roll down nice and smooth. You know, all the lights work. The front seat does have a little, did pull away a little bit on kind of the beads here. So you could push these back together and resew them or take them into a place. And then the seat would be real nice and match the rear. I mean, there's no holes or cuts here. Um, the carpet's got mats on them, the original carpets, because they are coming undone. You know, I had a, um, a shop vac. I was trying to vacuum it up, and it was kind of pulled, taking some of the carpet with it. So did the best I could, but I just put the mats back in. Really nice dash, factory stereo still there. You know, a little split right there. And it looks like they had something mounted right in the middle. The steering wheel is really nice. I'll go ahead and pop the hood while I'm here take you around to the passenger side and then there's a bunch of underside photos um, it's just a fun little car it's got great you know 70s colors it's pretty much um, you know it gets a lot of compliments you know I was taking pictures here and had three people stop and ask about it so you can see a really nice dash this side of the seat is just in excellent condition you see both panel side panels are really nice the wood is still nice and dark seat you see and that's just uh it looks like um like some black tape residue so that would come right up again you know we'll wait for the camera to kind of focus itself you know the carpet's not so hot but pro mats down on the carpet kits are really cheap for this but this door panel is just an excellent addition just a couple of slight creases here a little crack there getting really nice and both have really nice gaps and no door hinge issues. Just a nice solid shut. You know, they're not hitting anywhere. No paint chipped. Um, so we'll go ahead and go over here. So the paint, you know, paint looks really nice. Um, besides those little, you know, little crease on that side and some imperfections overlooked when it was painted, it, it looks great. So here's the only like six. It looks, uh, you know, not like a fresh motor, but it looks like, you know, may have been rebuilt at some point. Um, the odometer says a little over 41,000, but I have no idea. It's a five digit odometer. So um, I would guess by the wear of the, uh, so here's the California emissions decal. I would guess by the wear of kind of like the wipers and the interior, how nice the seats and panels are and stuff like that. That's probably 141. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no way to verify that, but the motor looks pretty clean um, for you know being its age. So it's, I don't know if it's been out and been repainted. You can see the water pump is was done at some point. Um, oh, you got the original Mopar decal here. Just cool to see that little stuff still intact. You know, air clean has never been messed with. Um, you know, really clean, nice little original car. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it for a drive now. Here we are for a run-in driving video of our little 73 Plymouth Scamp. Got all the lights going, got the little six cylinders ticking away like a little sewing machine. You see it's running nice and smooth, no shaking, no belt issues, no motor mount issues. Got all the lights going. This is just a fun little car. You know, it's like, yeah. Uh, you could step into the collector car hobby for really cheap on these things. And, uh, and you don't have all the worries of the, you know, the big dollar cars, you know. It's great to have a, 
you know, huge money car that's got all the modern stuff, but, you know, sometimes it kind of does take the fun out of it. I mean, it's amazing. You can have all the high dollar stuff and then, uh, you know, the big expensive, you know, $20,000 paint job and then you go drive something like this and it's just like, you're surprised at how much fun it is. Just, you know, carefree driving, rain or shine. Uh, heater motor works nice. You know, all these move. A lot of times on these older cars, these just get stuck and won't move. Um, the uh, stereo does work. I'm just having a hard time finding a station right now, but you can hear the speaker kick on. You know, got the ashtray. Um, a box pops right open. Supposed to be a cup holder, but I'm not sure how that ever worked. Um, let's look at the headlights going on here. You know, all the windows work good. You know, some people are new to the car hobby. It's like, it's amazing that it was a option to get a passenger window. Um, but uh, you can see the ashtray works. So if you need, or a lighter works. So if you need to plug in your iPod or something, um, e-brake works good. You got it in neutral, not going anywhere. And uh, now we start rolling. So it's always nice to have everything work on this car. Uh, it's got the cool little blinkers on um, on the fender. So, all right, I'm gonna roll this window up so we don't get too much window noise. This sounds like a little sewing machine going down there. But you got your map light down here. Um, you get your rear air. You can hear the air kick on. Pretty cool that all that stuff still is uh, working. You got the wipers. Of course, you don't got a lot of speeds like these modern cars. It's high and low, but the blades are all good. Um, and they fold all the way down, you don't get them stuck in the middle or anything like that. And to me, that's why, you know, the condition, the steering wheel, the, the pedal, uh, the gas pedal, the brake, the seat has like a couple little splits here, but uh, overall, the interior, especially the side panels and, you know, the headliner and the rear package tray are in amazing shape because these cars weren't built for, they weren't thinking like, oh yeah, what's this going to look like decades ahead, you know? You got a 12,000 mile warranty when you bought them brand new. It was, uh, oops. They, uh, they weren't really thinking too much about you, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, so to see this stuff hold up like this, um, it makes me believe, you know, 144, I thought I had said 41 on there, but it says 44, so that's what I believe is probably 144,000, I mean, it could be 44,000, but, uh, by how nice the tight the wipers are, but, um, but it drives really good. I mean, I drove in this thing, uh, it was like a 80 mile trip back and it was in rush hour traffic and then I jumped off the rush hour traffic and had to run some errands and did some, st you know, stoplight after stoplight after stoplight and this thing never gave me a worry at all. Um, it's got, you know, manual brakes, but really, they're really easy. I mean, you don't gotta give it much foot at all. And it just stops nice and straight, no pulling, no shaking, no noises. And uh, going down the highway, it is, uh, it is just nice and tight. That's just, just a blast. You know, I had my little boy in the back, and it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of a kick for little kids to get in. And, you know, you gotta, you know, you just don't see these colors anymore. And you have the blue interior with the baby blue exterior. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop out here on the highway, just give it a little bit of gas, like we're just out for a Sunday cruise. You can see in the rearview mirror, hopefully, I'm not smoking it up. So I'll go ahead and give it a little gas. You can see I'm burning nice and clean. Hopefully you guys can see the mirror. Doing 65. Doing 60 right now. No shaking, no pulling, just a really easy drive. You know, this thing probably, you know, it's got a, a three speed, you know, like most older vehicles by the 70s. Um, but 70 is, you know, I'll be honest with you, that's pretty much all she wants to do or feels like. Um, you know, I was hauling back on the highway and, uh, you know, you can put a little more meat on these things. If you look at the offset on how these cars are, the, the, the front tires are out like this and then the rear tires in like this so you could put a nice little even if you just run the six cylinder you could just get some nice fat little steelies back there run the factory caps or run some poverty caps or 
put some aftermarket wheels on there like Prager's or something but uh, I love the way it looks with the caps though it just looks awesome it has an extra hub cap with it um, but it was a little bit scuffed up so it looks like they may have hit a curb and then uh, you know decided to uh, replace it as you can see it's nice and breaking you know doesn't wobble or make crazy noises um, doesn't die at the stop you know like a lot of older cars and make it kind of scary but uh, this road's got some potholes and some bad patches and uh, kind of take it through. So you can see how solid this thing is you know it's uh, you know, working its way to 50 years old and um, it's just incredible that it just drives this dependable and solid. You know, you get some, you know, it's an old inline six cylinder with just a, you know, older technology. So you get some valve training noise going down the road. You know, you hear, you hear the drive, you hear the car, you feel it. Um, you know, it gives you the old car experience. But uh, gonna come up to some 90s up here. So you can see it's nice and tight. This thing doesn't have any ball joint or tie rod issues. Nice and it just wants to recover. It wants to pop back to center once you straighten out on the road, which is good. Shows the steering box is in good shape. Gives you just enough resistance. I mean, these older cars, I mean, this is where the one finger driving comes from. I mean, you could, uh, you know, drive to steer it like this. I mean, you turn the steering wheel and it, the car rotates. So, um, it's just like butter. You know, not a lot of body roll. Shocks are in good shape. Cars stand nice and level. You know, we're coming in here about 30. So, all right. So, good luck. This is just going to be uh, a lot of fun for the money car.